Welcome to Cornwall's breathtaking north coast, home to the legendary Tintagel Castle. Immerse yourself in history, myth, and stunning scenery as we explore this iconic site. Inextricably linked with the legend of King Arthur, Tintagel Castle has inspired writers, artists, and even royalty for centuries. But with ticket prices on the higher side, is it worth your visit? Let's find out together. If you missed my previous video on St. Nectan's Glen, located just 15 minutes from here, make sure to check it out too. Parking at Tintagel Castle is off-site. Pay and display parking, not operated by English Heritage, is available in the village, about 600 meters away. Unfortunately, there is no disabled parking on site, so plan accordingly if you have mobility concerns. The walk from the parking area to the castle offers lovely views, so enjoy the short stroll. Now let's talk about ticket prices. Booking online can save you up to 15%. You can book online until 8.45 a.m. on the day of your visit, and if you're visiting after 2 p.m., you can book right up to your arrival time. While the tickets might seem pricey, consider what you're getting. A day filled with history, stunning landscapes, and unique attractions. Compared to other sites in Cornwall, Tintagel Castle offers a rich, multifaceted experience. Members of English Heritage can enjoy free entry, and you can join as a member online or during your visit. But is it worth the cost? That's for you to decide. Tintagel Castle's history dates back to the 3rd to 4th centuries AD, when Roman activity was present on the headland, evidenced by finds of pottery and inscribed pillars. By the 5th to 7th centuries, Tintagel had become a significant trading centre with the Mediterranean, covered with many small rectangular buildings. The site was then abandoned for over 500 years. Here are some tips to make the most of your visit. The best times to visit are early mornings or late afternoons to avoid the crowds. Combine your trip with nearby attractions like St. Nectan's Glen for a full day out. Due to the rugged terrain and steep steps, ensure you wear comfortable footwear. For those with limited mobility, detailed access information is available on the official website. Tintagel is intricately linked with the tales surrounding the legendary King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table. 
and no story involving Arthur is complete without mention of the mysterious magician Merlin. According to legend, Merlin spent much of his life in the caves beneath Tintagel Castle. It's said he rescued the infant Arthur from the waves when he drifted ashore as an abandoned castaway, a tale immortalized by Alfred, Lord Tennyson, in his Arthurian poem, The Edels of the King. Merlin's cave, carved out by the power of the Atlantic Ocean over thousands of years, stretches approximately 100 meters through the Tintagel Peninsula. While it can be explored at low tide, the cave fills with seawater during high tide, so visitors must check tide times and bring a torch. Accessing the cave involves descending steps to the beach with a short, manageable clamor over rocks at the end. Close to the cave's entrance, you'll find a contemporary carving of Merlin's likeness, adding to the mystical atmosphere of the place. After exploring the castle and the cave, head to the visitor center where you can find detailed information about the history and legends of Tintagel. The visitor center offers exhibitions, a cafe with local treats, and a gift shop with unique souvenirs. The facilities are well maintained, making your visit comfortable and informative. In 1138, Geoffrey of Monmouth's History of the Kings of Britain tied Tintagel to the legend of King Arthur, claiming he was conceived here by Uther Pendragon and Igerna, the wife of Duke Gorlois of Cornwall. This legend was likely a driving factor when Richard, Earl of Cornwall, Henry III's brother, built his castle here in the mid-13th century. To sum up, Tintagel Castle offers a rich blend of history, myth and natural beauty. While the ticket prices are higher than some other attractions, the unique experience and breathtaking scenery can make it worth every penny. Ultimately, whether it's worth visiting is a personal decision. Share your thoughts in the comments below and let me know if you think Tintagel Castle is worth a visit. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and check out my video on St. Nectan's Glen.